Today and a lot going on at the Cincinnati Zoo. That includes a special project to help raise a cheetah cub. Erin Bryan joins us this morning to talk about that, and she's introducing us to Thor, not the god of thunder, the spiny-tailed lizard. And what cool coloration on Thor. Yeah. Really, really a cool-looking lizard. So this is something you see with the males of the species. Yeah. Um, and these guys are commonly known as spiny-tailed lizards, but their fancy scientific name is the Euromastix. Oh, the Euromastix. Can we, can we turn him around a little bit so people can see the tail and kind of, of see where they're back and his tail. And his tail is sort of the, the star of his body. It's, yeah. it's really hard, and it's a great defense. Yeah, and so that. if anything that tries to come and mess with him, wants to wants to try to eat him he's going to whip that tail he'll turn that. around and yeah. give you his best side so yeah, to speak exactly with the, with the coloration can i touch him is it absolutely, okay absolutely yes with the with the coloration he doesn't like change color or anything like that like no, some lizards do if he's um if he's in a lot of sunlight he might get a little brighter okay um the way that sometimes people with lighter hair get a little blonder in the sun sort yeah, of thing yeah um and then if he's if he's hiding out in caves and in the dark he might be a little bit darker but this is this is his color and it's it's him all right thor all you're pretty cool bud mm -hmm. i like you now uh one of the lizards that that goes around a school and different kinds of things. Absolutely, yeah. and you can find him um, on grounds as well. Oh, you nice. might be walking around grounds of the zoo and meet Thor or one of our other Euromastix lizards, um, and and any number of our other ambassador animal species. Oh, I mean, just look. I mean, in the face, look straight up dinosaur. You know Doesn't what I mean? He? Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about him. That's so cool. <laughs> just licking your chops, looking at me, aren't Sticking you? Sticking his tongue out at you a little bit. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now I'll tell you what. We showed some video um, of a much furrier creature that you have at the zoo earlier this week, and how a cheetah cub is getting some help from another furry animal that is not a cheetah. Let's talk about that Absolutely. a little bit. Absolutely. So we have a, um, a young cheetah cub was born July 7th mm -hmm. here at the zoo. And uh, and because cheetah cubs need to be born in groups of two or three in order for mom to make enough milk, yeah. uh, we decided to hand raise this one. Um, she was the only one in her litter. And sometimes cheetah cubs need a little help learning how to be how to be animals yeah. um, and Blakely is our nursery dog um, is a professional he is a professional he's eight years old and um, and he has raised a, a bunch of the animals at the zoo he's raised talking uh, tiger cubs Incredible. he's raised wallabies and bat-eared foxes and he basically just teaches them how to be animals now it's really curious because I assumed until we did that story that Blakely was a she and like yeah. nursing was literally nursing the cubs because I mean we've seen things like that sure you know before as well but in this case Blakely is just teaching them how to be animals yeah just being a foster dad basically just That's teaching them wild. teaching them how to how to get along and, and learn how to react to situations and how to play play so is so cool. important yeah. for for humans and animals alike and and Blakely is the best in town at it that's so neat yeah. that, that is so neat yeah. anything else going on at the zoo I know a lot of people will be making that last maybe trip to the zoo of the summer before going back to school right? yes so tomorrow night this one maybe not for the kids um, is wild about wine okay um, and that's tomorrow night from 6 30 to 9 30 um, okay. we have a bunch of of wine vendors and a lot of food that's available for purchase and the whole zoo is going to be open. Nice. So it'll be a really cool chance to kind of see the zoo after after hours. Um, and then we also have member of Visitor Appreciation Weekend, which is August 17th and 18th, and that's half price admission for everyone. Okay. And then um, FCC Day at the zoo is going to be August 11th. Still lots to do at the zoo. Always lots to do at the zoo. Aaron, thanks for coming in. Thanks for bringing Thor along. Thor, You're we'll welcome. see you again soon, hopefully. And uh, at 921, we send it over to Tara to get a look at the weather. Hey, Tara.